mastering session. Uh, let me show you what plugins I'm using on the mastering here. So, Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. Uh, from what I've been told, we don't go crazy with it. You just, you just kind of barely touch it. Really, you don't even have to do that. Most of the time, they're just running the audio through it because it does. Uh, it has good character to adds good character to the sound. Uh, Master Desk. Let me turn on the turbo limiter. I like to use that. Uh, not True Peak. I don't know why it's different sounding to me. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. But I prefer the this version. I, I can read the meters better. Pro Q3, just in case there's some EQ stuff we got to fix. Uh, balance, because things can get pretty hot. And, uh, fruity balance. Just turn things back down a little before going into Fat Filter Pro L2. Two times over sampling turned on, 24 bit dither optimized. And then uh, tonal balance control just to just to check it. This is kind of like a, I want to say it's not folk kind of song, but it's not really rock. Yeah, it's not really country. I don't know. Probably go with country, I guess, because it's, it's kind of. It's got some of that kind of vibe, but it's not really a country song per se. So anyway, let's go ahead and do this.
Yeah, that's it. Not, not rocket science. <laughs> I realized I probably had more plugins open than I needed. Uh, I'm just gonna make an MP3 of this because it's not really a serious thing. And that's it. Um, uh, really, all I did was use the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor and Master Desk and then Tonal Balance Control. As you see with Tonal Balance Control, it showed that everything was in the pocket. I didn't have to change anything. I did everything by ear, not by sight. So, it sounded pretty good, but I, I usually add in Pro Q3 and Pro L2 just in case I need it, but a lot of times I never need it. You can get away just with Shadow Hills Master and Compressor and Master Desk and you're done. So there you go. There's the whole process. You get to see the quote unquote tracking session, the mix session, the mastering session. And it's done. Uh, and these were live tracks, so that's why there was a lot of microphone bleed between the different between the different uh, different tracks. Um, I tried to gate some of that, saw in one of my other videos, but um, no, it's not a studio recording, so I think it would be, I think it would be even cleaner if it was a studio recording as opposed to recording in a, where, wherever they did it at, like a bar or, you know, a nightclub or something. Well, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. If you want to see more, of course, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll, uh, you'll get to know when my videos are uploaded right when they are. And then you can get that information before anybody else does. Um, I'm always playing around with different ideas, different plugins, different things or whatever. But I also have kind of my main setup, which I did show you guys. That's what I'm doing right now is kind of more of my quote unquote main setup. This is how I like to do things. The plug these are the plugins that I prefer to use uh, over a session, no matter what kind of music I'm doing, whether it's you know this kind of stuff or if it's rock or if it's R&B or hip hop or you know, EDM, you name it. I, I kind of like to have a, a similar system because uh, with those different sounds and stuff, you know, and running it through all this different, you know, these different plugins and stuff, give it a, gives it a certain character that I like. No, pretty much everything going through. So anyway, it's your boy Visionary Styles. Uh, you guys be good, and uh, until we meet again. All right, peace.